When look around campus and it is clear that the University of Hawaii is under constant construction. Many entrances are taped off and rerouted, and caution tapes surround many buildings. With an estimated $2 million in deferred maintenance, is UH doing the right thing with the money it receives from the state? Um, it's just weird how seeing all these, you know, bright colored shirts every day. You don't feel like you're really at a university, you know. You feel like you're at some construction site all the time. Like, oh, what is this? I thought this was a school, you the know. The condition of some buildings now, affects the students in many ways. The classrooms and the, the quality of the classrooms here at UH? Well, as an English major, I'm in the most ghetto building, Kaikendal. You know, there's rats running around, door handles always say, oh, wait, please use other door, like, and then there's everyone uses the broken doors. It's pretty depressing. And then you go into the nice buildings, like the post, lucky engineer people get the really nice buildings, and then I always have to walk in the really sad, dreary, smelly buildings. Students also feel that some buildings are maintained a lot better than others, and the disparity is bigger than it should be. Um, I'd have to say more is, um one of them were not maintained. It, 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 you can see from all the construction around it. Um, there's a few buildings that have doors that are that still have not been fixed for like three years. Uh, Webster, I think, and then the post building have you know, caution tape on them. There, you know, it, and not to say that the whole building isn't maintained well, but certain parts of it, and it it's, doesn't look well. You know, it doesn't look good for our campus. I think that there needs to be more transparency about how these funds are allocated. I don't think students or even just our community know enough and we can't find out that information. And I would like to know where you know this money is going, especially because there's such a backlog. And I don't want new buildings to be built personally if we're not fixing the ones that are already here at, or like at least improving them because there's a lot that needs to be improved on campus and it's not getting done yet. While UH has plans to build new buildings like the Daniel K. Noye building, the fate of older buildings remains undetermined and unknown to students. UH has asked the state for funds to tackle the deferred maintenance before, but it is unclear how much has been allocated and how much remains, and what exactly is planned to better the UH campus. This is Yobita Taita for Journalism 330.